dollars. Dang, Luna, I just went through a breakup too. Oh shit. Relationships suck, am I right? <laughs> Anyways, hit me up, lol. Also, how old are you just to be sure? I was about to just say, you don't even know the age, bruh. You don't even know the age and you're already trying to hit on her. Or hit on her. Okay. So. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I cannot show this. I can't show this video. But. Uh. Shouts out to I am Dante. There is, um, there's a man, there's a man named, uh, what is it, Jacob Blake, who was just shot, uh, gunned down by the police, by the police. Uh, let me see how much this Blake, identify, open fire. Shots out to I am Dante. Okay. So this is on the news. This is God on the news. Damn. Now he's uh, he did not. Uh, I'm, I think he's still alive. He did not die from these. I think he's. I don't know if he's still in critical condition. Though I would assume so. I can't show the full thing. But let me. I want y'all to look at this. According to Kenosha police, it was a call of a domestic disturbance. Uh, it is unclear exactly who initially called police, but in the video you will see a man that's now been identified as Jacob Blake, identified by uh, Wisconsin governor. Mm. He tries to make his way towards the driver's side of a vehicle, try to make his way inside the vehicle, and that's when one of two officers opened fire multiple times. Before we play the video, it's also important God to remind damn. that he is alive this morning. Bonaclodian donated he, he $5. is alive. He is alive. If we listen to the Young Boy album, I'm going to end up squaring up with everybody in my neighborhood i'm asleep so he is alive he is alive to authorities he remains still in serious condition now i'll show up until it happens it says uh there is no way to hear what is being said but so, so you see this right y'all see this right God now for those y'all who we'll don't know what actually $5. happens r.i.p kobe bryant r.i.p 24. that was so random but I, I, yeah. So this is what happened. He, he, what people were saying is he was, there was a fight. I guess two girls were fighting and he broke up the fight. There were two girls fighting and he broke up the fight. And I guess when cops pulled up to the scene, they were, they were going at him for, I, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think, bro? What do you think? But they were going at him. His children are in the car. His kids are in the car. So he's Just walking away. He's walking away. And look at this, bruh. Gun out. Goes into his car and then... Obviously, you see. They just start, they just start opening fire. Seven shots, I believe. Seven shots were fired. Uh, we're going to read this. We're going to read this uh, article. Out, I'm going to read this article real quick. So it says two Wisconsin uh, police officers are on leave, are on leave Monday. Um, God damn! As state authorities investigate why a black man was shot multiple times in the back as he entered the driver's side door of an SUV, SUV official said. The man's three children, ages three, five, and eight, God okay damn. we're in the car i'm gonna mute these real quick i appreciate you i appreciate you i'm gonna mute them real quick so i can not get distracted they were in the car a family attor attorney said identified by wisconsin's governor as jacob blake the man is in serious condition or was in serious condition and fighting for his life attorney ben crump who now represents the blake family posted a video of the sunday evening shooting in kenosha kenosha the footage spread across social media, sparking protest and leading county officials to ins institute a curfew that remained in place until Monday morning. The shooting came as demonstrators um, continue to decry police violence in American cities, including the encounter. So, yeah, they you know, all the all the all the things going on. Right. Let me see if there's any information. 
here we go. 911 call reported domestic disturbance. Kenosha officers were called to a domestic incident around 5.11 p.m., police said. The shooting unfolded on a residential street packed with apartment buildings a block from a city golf course. The Lake Michigan shoreline lies about a mile east. In the video clip, an African-American man walks around the front of a gray SUV with two officers a step or two behind him, one with his weapon trained on the man's back. As the black man enters the driver's side door of his car, the nearest officer grabs the tail of his tank top and seven shots are heard. The man entering the car appears to go limp. A sustained car horn blares. A woman nearby jumps up and down apparently in anguish wow rayshawn white who filmed the video clip that drew more than 2.4 million views from the crumps twitter feed alone was across the street when he heard women arguing he said he saw blake arrive and order one of his sons into a vehicle the boy happily obliged and blake walked into a home behind a woman he said White stepped away, and when he returned, he said police were wrestling with Blake. White doesn't know what started the argument, he said. He began filming what he called the middle and the end of the altercation, he said, explaining he was angry and traumatized by what he saw and couldn't sleep Sunday night. The police want everybody to know they're out here to protect and serve, but you guys are constantly giving us, black people in particular, reasons not to let you guys protect and serve. I want y'all to remember that. I want y'all to remember that, okay? Uh, White told CNN. We don't want you guys around because we are scared for our lives. Uh, you come to an incident to disarm an argument and this black man gets shot. It wasn't supposed to go down like that, bro. But police union says there's more to the story. There's more to the story, bro. There's always more to the story, okay? The police, union rep the, uh, the police union representing the officers urged the public to withhold judgment until the state justice department completes its investigation. D guys, don't, <laughs> guys, hear us out, bro. Don't judge until you get the full thing, which is true, which is true. We gotta get the full facts before we just go out and, you know, but with what we saw and how we saw it, we know that he shouldn't have got seven shots in, in his back. We know that off rip regardless of what's going on, bro. But let's continue to read this. Let's hear what they got to say. As always, the video uh, currently circulating does not capture all the in, in what? Intricies? Intricies of a highly dynamic incident. We ask that you withhold from passing judgment until all the facts are known and released, says Pete Dietz, president of the Kenosha uh, Professional Police Association. In a tweet, Crump, who represents Floyd's family, says the man was leaving the scene after breaking up a fight between two women. Leaving the scene after breaking up a fight between two women. Officers were called to respond to a domestic disturbance, police said, but it's unclear who called 911 and what happened in the video before that. In the police call, a dispatcher says Blake isn't supposed to be there and that he took the uh, compliance keys and refused to leave. The dispatcher then explained she doesn't have more details because the caller was uncooperative. Uh, the dispatcher reports of shots fired comes about five minutes after the initial report. According to Crump, police had already used the taser on Blake before the shooting. It is not clear from the video if both officers opened fire. The second officer had his gun out and the shots are heard, the video clip shows. Both are on administrative leave, said the Wisconsin De Department of Justice Division of Chris Criminal Investigation. That is a long ass name, which is leading the probe into the incident. All officers are cooperating, the department said. Neither officer has been identified. The state agency aims to submit a report and pos prosecutors within 30 days, it says, adding no further details are available. Who was he threatening, the uncle asks. Blake, 29, was critically injured in the shooting, said Governor Tony Evers. Tonight, Jacob was shot in the back multiple times in broad daylight in front of his kids. In front of his kids. Let's not forget that, Evers said in a statement. 
While we do not have all the details yet, and yes, I know, we do not have all the details yet. But there's two officers there, there's one man, and he just has his kids in the car. Is seven shots necessary? Is it necessary? Um, why do we not have all the details yet? What we know for certain is that he is not the first black man or person to have been shot or injured or mercilessly, mercilessly, mercilessly killed at the hands of individuals in law enforcement. Lieutenant Government Mandela Barnes added, the irony is not lost on me that Jacob Blake was actually trying to de-escalate a situation in his community. <laughs> But the responding officer didn't feel the need to do the same. The responding officer did not feel the need to do the same. Saw him as a threat. He was intimidated. He feared for his life. That's what he's going to say. And he's going to be fine with that. He reached in the car. I didn't know what he had, bro. He's, I was scared for my life. It's two officers. And you already have a gun aimed on him. You already have his gun aimed on him. But I'm scared for my life. You know. You know how it works. Um, Evers has called for a special legislative session in which he will ask lawmakers to consider a bill to increase accountability and transparency in policy and policing, address appropriate use of force, and ban dangerous policing. Dietz calls ever statement wholly irresponsible and not reflective of the hardworking members of the law enforcement community. Following the shooting, police said officers rendered aid before the injured man was flown to a... Uh, or dirt, 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 dirt hospital in Milwaukee. This is crazy, man. It is outrageous. Who is he threatening? Blake's uncle, J Justin Blake, asked CNN after viewing the video of the shooting. He had on a tank top and shorts on. He had no weapons. He was going back in the car because his children needed to be checked on. His children needed to be checked on. This is a... Uh... So from that, like from that alone, like what we have, bro, the information that we have from that, and just seeing, he was in a tank top and shorts and his kids were in the car. And you know what people love to bring up? And somebody, yeah, we do need a body cam. And what, you know what somebody said to me? I just posted the picture of, it's Jacob Blake, right? I just posted the picture of Jacob Blake and his kids on my Instagram. And I was getting replies like, well, he shouldn't have been resisting. Um, You know, he had a, he actually had a criminal history, right? And it's just like, yo, so it, so every person that has a criminal history, every person that has, is not the perfect human being on this world deserves to get shot seven times just because they're black and they're walking away. And this is another thing. Maybe if you just cooperate, niggas are acting like slaves, bro. Niggas are, niggas are literally acting like say, slaves, bro. Scared of the cops. If the cop says do this, you better do it. If master says do this, you just better go ahead and do it now because he says so. Nobody needs to fucking just... If you were there to de-escalate a situation and then the cops show up and you're, you are you want to leave because you're trying to get back to your kids because you, you just want to get back to your kids, know your rights, bro. You don't have to do anything. They're trying to tell you to do that out of fear. It's not, yo, listen to the cops. They won't kill you. Nigga, what? That's what you say to a fucking, when you're getting held hostage. They're supposed to be the police. They are not our slave masters. We are not slaves, but that's how we're still high key getting treated. High key, that's how we're getting treated. Yo, whatever they say, you better just do it now. You just go ahead, just put your head down, nod your head, say yes now. You don't want to get the whip now. You don't want the lashes now. No, you don't want the bullets now, do you? No, I don't give a fuck, bro. And I will stand by that shit, bro. If I'm doing something and the cops have no business to be trying to fucking detain me for some bullshit or do, I'm walking away. And if I get gunned down, then so be it, my nigga. Fucking do it. Fucking do it. 
So fucking be it, my nigga. You don't fucking own me at all, my nigga. At all, nigga. I don't give a fuck what happens to me. That's on you, my nigga. And guess what? They gonna fear for their life? They go... You gonna fear for your... We'll, we'll see the lies, bro. We'll see the lies. And my dead body will be the fucking proof, my nigga. I'm so glad these niggas... Like, this shit... Niggas, you cannot get control over me. You cannot get control over me. You may get control over these other people who are scared of death and this shit. I embrace that shit, my nigga. I don't give a fuck about death, my nigga. So if that's what niggas are trying to hold people to be f scared of is death... My nigga, you gonna have to do better than that. You gonna have to do better than that, my nigga. I don't give a fuck about your badge or your goddamn gun, my nigga. Gun me down, see what the fuck happens, nigga. You cannot control me. You will not control me. Maybe if you just do what they say, bro. You just do what they say. I didn't do anything. I was breaking up a fight. I'm going home. I'm getting my kids. I'm gathering my shit. And I'm going home. Seven shots to the back. In a fucking tank top. Seven shots to the back. Luckily, he's still alive. Thankfully, he's still alive. And now we have actually another side of the story. We have both sides to the story. We have both sides to the story. Because there's always two... No, the, the, what, what is it? There's three sides to a story. The... the um, what was it? Isn't it the truth? The lie? And then... Um, I forgot what it was. What was it, y'all? It's a saying. It's like there's three sides to a story. Oh, it's it's three sides to a story. The cops, the uh, the the guy who like the the victim, the cop or whatever, or the attacker, and then the truth. Cause niggas always got different sides to the stories. But um, bro, I'm not I'm not gonna be I, I I'm not gonna be one of those people who are gonna be controlled by fear. I'm just not gonna be one of those people, and I. And I, I swear, every time they say, just comply. Why was he walking away? He didn't do anything. They have no right to hold him there. Cops think they could just show up and just, Like, niggas like that just let anybody bitch them, bro. They just gonna let anybody bitch them. You will let a, you will let a cop run up in your house and R word your girl, your wife, or your child. Because, yo, I was just complying. Just do what the cop says. Because he's a cop. No. My nigga, the cop will get them hands. And if I die from that, then so be it. You are not going to control me. Out of fear or anything. That's not how it works. That is not how it works at all. And I'm not saying... I'm not trying to say, like, that's how everybody should be. I'm speaking... Anytime I speak about something and... All right, hold on. People are acting weird anytime i speak about anything and i you see i'm getting i'm i'm fucking passionate about it that's because i'm speaking from my mind and what i would fucking do and my true belief on how shit should be that's my true form of thinking especially when i get pissed off like that you are not going to fucking scare me i don't give a fuck about your gun if i was in his situation and i just seen what happened i would do the same exact thing i would do the same exact thing i'm not get off of me i'm not no i didn't do anything I didn't do anything. I'm going, I have my kids in the car and I'm leaving. Seven shots in the back. I'll take that. So be it. I stood up for mine. And if it means that I have to lose my life, then so be it. I did what I wanted to do with my life till the end. I know a sub didn't do that. Ban that guy, bro. Come on now. But, um, yeah, this is, this is so unfortunate to see, man. This is so unfortunate to see. And I hate, I, I, you know, like I said, I know we don't have everything to the story, but seeing off of just the fact that he had a tank top and shorts shows me like he did not need to get shot seven times. If they were truly that scared, tackle him. Yank his ass, bro. Yank his ass back out the car. He has his kid. He's going to bust out the blicky and gun down the cops in front of his three kids. At the end of the day, man, um... I'm glad he's still alive. Or at least that's what the report has said. Um, I am very curious to see what happened. What the full story is. What what led up to this. And uh, I'm pretty sure in the next, in the, come, in, the, in the following weeks, we will see that. And we're going to check that out here together. We're going to check that out here together. And we're going to talk about what happened. So, 
that's what I had to say about it. If you disagree, I don't give a fuck. I, I, I truly don't give a fuck. This is how I feel about it. This is what I had to say about it. So, like, obviously, if you're opposed to it, well, I think he should have done this. He had a criminal history. Like, um, it, it was deserved. Da, 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 da. If you think any of that, I don't care what you think, bro. You're here to watch me and see what I have to say about it. That's what I have to say about it. Now let's uh let's let's turn up. <laughs>